Ang panahon pagsasama Ang simoy ng hangin na nagdadala It is that time of the year again when we hear Christmas songs in the radio, in malls, basically any establishment that wants to remind you what holiday are we celebrating. At least once in your life, I guarantee you have heard a Christmas song and that one of those songs contain a nostalgic memory of you celebrating the season. But that begs the question, what makes Christmas songs sound the way they are? According to Wikipedia, Christmas music is comprised by a variety of genres that are performed in season. Prior to the 1930s, Christmas songs are generally religious, and such will sound like your typical mass hymns. But something changed around the Great Depression, when musicians started playing around with incorporating jazz into the mix, which may or may not include the religious main theme of the holiday, the birth of Christ. Songs that are about reindeers, Santa Claus, and other non-religious figures rose into popularity during this era, paving the way for a new wave of Christmas music. So with that history lesson out of the way, let's talk about the elements of Christmas music and how it contributes to the sound we are familiar with. Based on my research, memories of listening to Christmas songs every morning every day once the last week of November starts, and experiments with creating Christmas music myself, along with other musicians in our collaboration Generation Christmas, or Gen C, I have compiled three simple things that make Christmas songs sound the way they are. Or at least, that's what I think. This is just my opinion, so uh, be prepared. <laughs> this is not a script. So the first thing is jazz chords. According to Wikipedia, jazz chords are the type of chord, chord voicings and chord symbols that jazz musicians commonly use in their performance and compositions. One of the most famous and used jazz chords are major seventh chords. A major seventh chord is simply a triad chord with the major seventh of the root note of the chord added to create that quintessential jazz sounds that sound smooth and resolved. Another type of jazz chords are minor 7th chords, which has the same mechanic as making a major 7th, you know, with the whole triad plus the 7th thingy. But instead, you move the 7th note by one semitone down, hence creating the minor 7th. This works because the popularized Christmas songs that we hear are built around jazz. Remember the Great Depression thingy? Simply putting these small changes into your chord progression is already 33% of the whole Christmas sound vibe. Number two, sound design. To give you a fresh perspective, let's visit a song that executes this point perfectly. Okay, okay, this might not be a Christmas song, but it represents us the second important element of making music feel the way we want it to. For those who do not know, Welcome to the Black Parade is a progressive rock track whose story revolves around a patient transitioning from life to death. And as he does, he is welcomed by a parade, which is connected to the fond memory of going to a parade with his father when I was a young boy. A song about a memory of going to the parades, the first part of the drum track in the song sounds like this. A song about parades with the drum beat of a parade. It doesn't get more obvious than that. Hinting to the audience that the theme of the song by adding elements related to it will give the listeners a picture of what's happening. Take this comparison example of our Christmas song last year. Pay attention to the instrumentals and notice the difference of the overall vibe of it. In my opinion, I cannot hear the Christmas sound in the first song. 
because we focused on making it sound like an alt indie song rather than a Christmas song. So I was really inspired by the entire Four of Spades deal back then and I wanted the song to sound like that. But it simply fails to capture the Christmas spirit. Even with all the trumpets and the jazz chord and the choir vocals. The second song however does, despite being produced and made by the same people. But why is that? It's because the second song contains elements of Christmas. The church bells ringing, the sleigh bells ringing in the background as well. These are small details that set the mood of your song. If you want a futuristic sounding song for example, you should use synthesizers and probably add some laser blast sound effects to your song. If you want a retro sounding track 60s Beatle vibe into it, then you can record a Mellotron track and add a vinyl spinning around. These minute audio references play an important role in giving the audience the idea of where and when they are. Much like movies and plays, in music, the setting matters. The third and probably easiest part is the lyrics. I'm pretty sure this is self-explanatory already, but I'll get into detail with this. Let's go back to our paraders. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. In the first part of Welcome to the Black Parade, we hear Gerard Way singing about the patient's memory of his parent and him going to the city to see a marching band. Combined with the drums, which, you know, sounds like a parade thingy, we get a good picture of what is happening. This is also what you can do to capture the Christmas mood of your song. By talking about Christmas itself in the song, you can convince the audience into believing they're listening to a Christmas song. Add lyrics about your memories of celebrating with your family, or your first eggnog, or when you first stayed up late, or going to Simbangabe. Putting these words help the listeners transport themselves into this world that you created. Something as simple as wearing a sweater from your grandmother can easily trigger the Christmas feeling from the audience. This is the third and final part of making a Christmas song. At the end of the day, I say just have fun with it. Enjoy the songs that are being played on the radio or on YouTube selected by your parents. And think about how nice it is that we get these Christmas songs to attach our memories into every year.